All right, today I'm gonna to show you after you've decided what type of boot you're going to wear for the most part, some things you can do after you get home to make it fit better. Um, they're gonna change over time. It takes a while to break in leather boots. So also know when you buy something, give it time. Um, if there's something glaring, burning, or hurting, you might have the wrong size, um, but for the most part, you can do some things to it. So I'm gonna show you just a few things that I do depending. Uh, one would be this top. So usually when people get boots, they're gonna hurt around the ankle or just rub on your calf. They're meant to be rigid for a reason, so your foot can slide in and out, different things like that. If that is too much, you know, you can certainly try to soften that by oiling it. Um, the other thing you can try to do is what I did to this guy here. I, depending on what, um, what boot I have, I will cut slits in the front and in the back. You would get boots built this way. Um, people do that often. This kind of allows this to move more freely and doesn't rub as much. It also makes it so that when my pants go around it, it kind of collapses around my leg and gets nice and soft. The one thing that people also do is just take these boots home and put them on. I, um, these are meant to just, you know, hang on your feet like a dead carcass. They're meant to be a tool. And so um, you don't usually get a brand new pair of tennis shoes and just wear them the way they are. You usually will get insoles. So I'll pull this guy out. So I do this a lot. It doesn't matter what brand you use. These are Dr. Scholl's. They work really great. Um, but also know if you're going to slide one of these in, they already come with a small insole in there. doesn't matter which one it is. This will change the fit of the boot. So if you were wearing it at the store, it feels really great. You slide this guy in there super tight. You might need to take this out or take the original one out and replace it. Also, when you're going to buy one, maybe get that half size bigger knowing that you're gonna do that. So another alteration that is super simple to do, some people will buy these and no matter kind of what they do, they still kind of flop around and are loose. A little simple trick where two pairs of socks. If you're gonna do something for a long period of time and it might rub you, wear two pairs of socks. It'll actually basically prevent um, blistering. The other thing you lastly can do, and I, I wouldn't recommend this only because leather's not meant to do this, but some people will completely soak the boot, wear the boot, and it kind of conforms to your foot, kind of changes the, you know, the way it fits. That's fine to do. You totally can do that. If you do that, make sure to oil the boot once it is dry. If you do that, you basically open all the pores and, and beg it to crack kind of the way that this one did. So just know when you buy a boot in the store, there's things you can do at home to make it fit better for you. Um, there's really no judgment. If it fits good and feels good, you're probably gonna wear them a lot and that's the whole point. So hopefully this video helps you at home make your camping boot fit a little bit better. So if you like this video and wanna see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Start With Cowboy channel.